Hello everybody and welcome to my Let's Play of Super Adventure Island. This is a 1992 game for the Super Nintendo, kind of in the platformer action genre. So we play as this character here on the left, totally not inspired by Mario. His name is Master Higgins. Then this wizard by the name of Dark Cloak shows up and turns our girlfriend to stone, making her much colder than she used to be. Uh, I wish I could give a high -o for that joke, but I actually can't. And then pretty much the most awesome thing that could happen in any game ever happens right now. Master Higgins is like, fuck yeah! I'm gonna get a Nazgul to drop me off at my next destination. And then we'll see, uh... This is just the uh, computer playing a little bit here while I'm gonna discuss the reasons for this Let's Play. Basically, this is a game that I have not seen Let's Played very much and haven't heard many people talking about, which is a shame because I consider it to be, you know, not... Not a masterpiece, but certainly one of the best action games I had on the Super Nintendo. So I figured, you know, why not Let's Play It? Uh, it's gonna be a short one, probably only five parts, so if you're not a big fan, it'll be over with quick. Anyway, let's get started here. Pretty amazing SNES graphical ability right there. I guess we were coming over around the midpoint of the console's lifespan by here. Or actually, no, still well in the early part. So we're Master Higgins here, we can jump and we can move to the right and that's pretty much all we need. We can also throw some tomahawks and we can pick up a variety of weapons in the game. And by a variety, I mean two. We can get either boomerangs or tomahawks. And we can upgrade them a little bit as we go. And plus, this game doubles as uh, probably the best skateboarding game to have come out until Tony Hawk's Pro Skater released in about seven years after this. So you see that I'm chucking tomahawks, riding my skateboard, collecting fruit. The fruit is related to that meter there at the top, so I don't really have a light bar, so to speak. What I do have is a bar with it that ticks down as time goes on, and we've got to get fruit to replenish it. Fruit also gives us some bonus points. Now, the game takes place in five stages, and each stage has three levels that are completed when you get to that star orb at the end. Since we don't have a life meter, you can probably surmise that this is one of those games, you know, like Mario, I guess, where we just get killed in one hit. So we've got to be especially careful when we're playing through this one, and those spear guys are one of the worst enemies that you can encounter to end your goals. Now, you notice my boomerang has turned into kind of like an LED. That is, when you collect four weapon power-ups, it becomes a more powerful version of the weapon that you're currently holding. Not particularly useful against regular enemies, because they normally die in one hit. However, really useful against bosses, which can be actually pretty difficult over the course of the game. So, obviously the most difficult part. Now, one of the things I love so much about Super Adventure Island is the fact that the music is so good. And actually, that's probably the thing that keeps me, you know, every couple of years playing through this game. Like I said, gameplay-wise, it's fun. Uh, like, the controls feel solid. The game's short and probably a little bit too easy. Uh, at least if you know if you know what you're doing, it seems a little bit too easy. Come on, buddy, come on. There we go. Uh, but the music it keeps me coming back. It's really good. Uh, it's... I don't know how you describe it. It's kind of like a Caribbean funk, hip-hop fusion or something. I don't know, that's what it said in the Wikipedia article anyway. But really, one of, the, one of my favorite soundtracks from the Super Nintendo era, and uh, does not get a lot of credit. This game, I think, has kind of fallen under the radar because, you know, Adventure Island on the NES was good, Super Adventure Island was good, and then they kind of came out with some Adventure Island sequels for the uh, SNES that were not fantastic. So this is the last level that we have before we fight the boss. And you can see that I'm doing pretty well, having not been hit yet, and that's pretty important because when you get hit, you lose your weapon and you have to start over from the very beginning. So that can become a serious problem if you're coming up to a boss soon, because you really, really, really need these high-powered weapons to be able to take out the bosses effectively. Uh, I prefer the boomerang, but you know, tomahawks are alright as well. Each one has its own use in certain situations, but there's certainly no situation where neither the tomahawk nor boomerang will work, or even situations where only one of them will work in one well. We're just gonna murder these guys right here. Oh! And then we're very, very close to the end of the level, which is good because I'm running out of fruit. Fruit occasionally becomes a problem, particularly as we'll see in the third stage. There might be a situation where uh, I run a little bit low on fruit, and that, that can be probably the most harrowing points in the game. You know that music when Sonic is drowning in the Sonic games? Similar to that, it plays a, a noise that has forever haunted my dreams and the dreams of anyone else who has ever played this as a kid. So having completed the third stage, we can go fight the first boss, and he, uh... The boss music changes. Boss music's pretty epic, I've gotta say. Uh, the boss always reminded me of the Rock Eater from The NeverEnding Story. Anyway, hopefully someone else is, uh, watching this and is as dated as I am so they can see... Oh, let's get him on the screen. So they can see what I'm talking about. So this guy is actually a lot easier with the boomerangs, but certainly not difficult with the tomahawks, as you can see. I took him out in about two seconds. And there you can see the effectiveness of the tomahawks and why those are so important. 
So I'm going to get a couple of bonus points here, enough to give me a 1-up. You get a 1-up at every 50,000 points. But I'm going to make this a one stage per video Let's Play. So this has been Part 1, Let's Play Adventure Island. I hope you'll join me for Part 2 when we go to the island here, that you'll get a little bit of a sneak peek of. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.